I just love how Troy Weaver's been doing this. Like this, the Marvin Bagley, I would even count him kind of in that same category. I know you traded for him, yeah. but a player you feel like you could still get something out of. With Kevin Knox, I like his versatility. I know he's he can't really shoot. What is going on? I want to welcome you from Half Court for today, Sunday, August 7th, 2022. I am your host, Sean Murphy, alongside my guy, Jeff. Although, Jeff... Today, I know I know a lot of people might be focused on the upcoming episode of Hard Knocks. You know, the Lions preseason starts this week. Football season's around the corner, but that doesn't mean that there isn't some basketball to talk about. So with that, Jeff, it's good to see you as always, my friend. Oh, and you hit it just on the head. It's good to see you too. Uh, just because football season is upon us doesn't mean that we can't always discuss different topics with the Pistons and NBA in general. So um, I'm excited. Uh, I'm excited for the season to start. So, so bad because we've been doing our homework in the offseason. Yep. We've been now really analyzing everything about the Pistons and what they've done in the offseason. But now it's go time. All these predictions of where they're going to land. I'm excited for the season to start. Yeah, for sure. I've, I've been going and watching so much basketball and so much Pistons yeah, specifically. And one thing I've learned, by the way, just don't watch this team before February. It's not worth <laughs> it. There's even when Cade plays great, it's just not worth it. But anyway. <laughs> Anyway, speaking of worth, today we're talking about a, a venture that the Pistons are heading into, specifically a player named Kevin Knox. There have been a lot of people asking in our comments what we think about this signing and specifically if he's someone that can bring value to this team. Now, Kevin Knox, obviously a guy that's 22 years old, about to be 23 in a few days, actually, he's going to be on the Pistons this upcoming season, signed to a two-year deal. However, there is a team option on the second year and the Pistons didn't sign Kevin Knox officially until this past week. So the deal was reported on about a month ago. So it took a while for that to, to come through. I'm not sure if that was because of some trades that needed to be processed. I'm not sure if ultimately because it just wasn't the Pistons top priority, but Jeff, what is your sense of what Kevin Knox's role can be in Detroit? And do you think this is another reclamation project? Or do you think this is just a flyer for training camp? To answer that, well, the second question is a yes, it is. Um, it, but what do I expect his role to be? I mean, I think it's really up to him initially. I mean, he could have a role like Josh Jackson when you when you signed him. He could play big minutes. Uh, I don't think with this team and the skills, the amount of skills, you know, they have different skilled players. He's going to have to be really good to at least play, but they do need forwards. I mean, we've talked about this as well. I think he fits a position of need. And for someone like Kevin Knox, who coming into the NBA, getting almost 30 minutes a game in New York playing, he actually didn't play that bad. I think just lately he just never found, you know, consistency there. And obviously the coaching staff didn't really believe with them considering, you know, there's other players they'd rather play. They drafted Obi Toppin. So with Kevin Knox, I mean, it's it's harmless, man. I mean, you got him for two years for $6 million. It's cheap. It's harmless. You can trade him. Um, and But the upside is he could still play and contribute. So I don't really have much of expectations for him. Uh, I would like to see him out on the court this year, you know, early on in the year, in garbage time, wherever it is. I think he still has something to prove. But for $3 million, like this, this deal isn't going to harm you either way. If he plays well – you're happy. You're de you're delighted. But if you play, if he doesn't play well, it's like, all right, you just scrap it and you move on. But I just love how Troy Weaver's been doing this. Like this, the Marvin Bagley. I would even count him kind of in that same category. I know you traded for him, yeah. but a player you feel like you could still get something out of with Kevin Knox. I like his versatility. I know he's he can't really shoot. He can, but he's not the greatest shooter. Uh, but he br he brings length and he brings some athleticism. So. I'm completely okay with the signing. I like Kevin Knox as a player, even coming out of college. But for his expectations this year, it's it's really up to him. It's up to maybe if yeah. there's an injury, maybe he steps up and plays. But initially, you might not see him. I think down the line, maybe you start to see some flashes of Kevin Knox. But I don't got much for him this year in terms of expectations. Yeah, that's valid, and 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 I agree with you in the sense. I think I think it's ultimately come ultimately going to come down to if he can hit that shot. Or not. Yep. I mean, if if he does, then he's a legitimate threat. He's a guy that, you know, has athleticism. He could at some point potentially be a role player for, you know, for a solid team. But I I don't know if it's even a certainty that he's on the roster day yeah. one. 
I mean, Could currently, be. currently as it sits, the you know the Pistons have more guys on their current roster than they will be able to have on opening night, which is protocol. That's what you do. That's how it is. So, um, you know, he's going to be able to come into training camp, show what he's got, what he's been working on, you know, where he's at in his game. And, you know, ultimately, like you said, there's absolutely no risk to it. If the Pistons want to trade them, they can, if they want to cut their losses and not pick up the second year on the option and just use that as more cap space for next year, they can do that too. But I think this is a guy that can come in and, you know, you, you talk about that Josh Jackson type of role. I I think he's going to have to earn his, his way up a little bit. It's interesting with, with, with Kevin Knox, because this is a guy that when you look back to his rookie year, he was really widely, you know, regarded and, and, you know, was really looked at as one of those rookies with a lot of promise on that Knicks team. People, when people talked about that Knicks team, they're like, Oh, that Kevin Knox kid, he can, if he can play, he could be pretty good. And, you know, he, he's had points in his career where he was a 39% three point shooter. He's had points where he was a 35% three point shooter. To me, it's just one of those things where I I know that, you know, it, it, in this game, if you can't hit that shot consistently, you know, with Kevin Knox, he, he has athleticism, but other than that, I don't know how much true skill he has right. to his game. And I think that might be why we've seen the slipping in, and playing time, if he's not hitting that shot consistently, then at, then at the end of the day, then that's going to be that. However, I mean, you know, Detroit has shown multiple times that that they will give these players opportunities and chances and and was just trying to, um, you know, with Detroit, you know, like a lot of times it's worked out. I'm not sure if this will be another time it has. Detroit's had a really good track record of, of reclaiming these these players. And another thing, he hasn't played in systems that have, that have exactly been patient. I mean, right. when he came into New York, they immediately made the change, brought in Tom, you know, Coach Thibodeau. If you if you don't jive with his system, if you can't produce immediately, you're probably not going to get playing time. He's probably not going to want much to do with you. And then he goes to Atlanta, who's even more in a win now mode because they yeah, actually got far in the playoffs so right. maybe this is a place where they'll actually be patient with him and actually let him make some mistakes yeah he'll have an opportunity there's no question about it if, if Kevin Knox has the ability to be a a contributor to a good team it would be this year uh, at least in training camp like you discussed if he if he shows a lot of things he earns minutes I, I mean, really, for, for Kevin, it's about being a good defender, too, because not only does he struggle from the outside, like he's not the greatest defender, but he's got the wingspan, he's got the size, so it's not like he can't do it. Maybe he just wasn't held accountable in New York or, or maybe in Atlanta. There's just – Atlanta's on a different mission. Like he, With Detroit, though, if he really wants to play this year and he has an opportunity to do it, he's going to have to show some things in training camp. Like you said, the ability to knock down shots, because if you can knock down shots, you're playing with Jaden Cade. And if you right. can play defense, Dwayne's going to like you a little more. So those are the two things I'm looking for. He's never shot over 40% in his career from the from the field. So that's something he's got to work on as well. Um, but I love the intangibles. I love I love the physical tools that Kevin Knox has. Right. Um, it's just if he can put it together. And so far in the league, he struggled with that. But maybe a new home. Maybe he uh, he just brings something that, that brings that fire out of him. Who knows? But I'm excited to see him this year. Hopefully he can get on the court. That, that's the number one thing. Yeah, for sure, because if he is a guy who can earn that spot, and I think it's going to be similar to like Hamadou Diallo last year, where the yeah. way that you're going to earn your spot on this team is going to be starting with what you do on the defensive end. If you come out and you show some flashes on the, on the offensive end, cool, but if you're not getting if you're not staying in front of your guy, if you're if you're allowing easy buckets, if you're not showing effort on that end, Wayne Casey's going to sit you down quickly. So I think that's going to be the one thing is if he shows that and if he does, if he does utilize that, like it's never been a talent issue with, right. with Kevin Knox, but this is, you know, in, in when we're talking about the, the top 1% of players in the world. And when you talk about the talent disparity, you know, like all of these guys have talent. That's why they're here. But it's those thin margins. It's those things that that those those consistencies over a long haul of season. That's going to be the difference between having a job or being in Europe this time next year. And you know, Dwayne Casey has said 
to in in a cursed woods open up he's like he said to him he's like i mean if you don't if you don't make the most of this opportunity you're in europe next year and i'm still here so it's yeah. fine by me so you know that that's just the truth and if they're and he's going to be in a system where they're going to tell him that truth so um we you Maybe know what yeah yeah and, and you talk about you know like you know, like with Kevin Knox, it is interesting because, you know, when you talk about the like the Pistons, like one thing we are kind of lacking is that wing depth. So, you know, I guess that's one thing that like, you know, if he can earn his role on this team, that that does fill that role and it does do so in a rather cheap manner. Um, but at the same time, you know, this could very much be another just temporary one year signing until... Detroit actually goes out and tries to improve and get some guys next year. And to me, like if I'm just looking at it realistically, that's just what I see out of, the, out of this Kevin Knox signing personally. Yeah, me too. <laughs> now you can have, you know, you could be excited and hope that he can change the narrative for his career. But to be completely honest, it is, it is a swing and potentially a miss. But again, right. the point is, the point is it's $3 million. Right. That's, that's all you got to know. And right. it makes everything else very more much easier to digest. I'm well, cool. and well, and another thing too with Troy Weaver, you never know what this signing could mean. We brought in Trey Lyles this time last year. And we were like, "What the heck was that signing for? Why is this guy on the roster?" You know, Josh Jackson, similar thing when he was brought in. People were kind of unsure with what this was all about. But then those guys ultimately were, you know, were like reclamation guys. Come in, show what you can do. And we're flipped to bring in a guy like Marvin Bagley. Kevin Knox, you never know. In theory, Troy Weaver could have another guy that he likes that he's keeping in mind, and he could potentially flip him and do a trade scenario. But, I mean, this could also be very similar. There is another guy that this could be very similar to. Dennis Smith Jr. was on the Pistons a couple years ago and had an opportunity to come in and earn a shot and have his chance. And even though he had some performance performances that were decent, he just wasn't consistent enough, and that's why he didn't right. get a spot on the roster going forward. So, you know, we, we've seen kind of the path for both. So, um, you know, definitely going to be fun to watch nonetheless, and I, I think that will perhaps be the biggest story of, of the preseason as far as, like, things to watch mm -hmm. as far as that goes. But the question is, what do you think of kevin knox and what do you think of the signing let us know in the comment section down below do you think this is something that is under the radar or do you think is someone that we might not even have on the team by november let us know in the comment section down below but that is going to do it for today folks thank you so much for tuning in be sure that you're not only subscribing to woodward sports for all great content in the world of detroit sports and in the sports world in general but also from half court so that you make sure you're getting your pistons fix and in the world of the nba but with that we want to thank you so much for tuning in and we'll catch you guys next time from half court be sure to subscribe do it